The Great Pumpkin Puzzle Story and Song by Jim Cullinane Read by Joseph Allen Chapter 3 The Big Day Vince didn't see Lydia over the next few weeks, and his pumpkins grew and grew. The rain washed away Lydia's nasty spray, and Bridget brought back her friends. Soon Vince's garden was alive with the buzzing of happy bumblebees. In the morning of the big competition, Vince got up early, polished his wheelbarrow, and brushed his teeth twice. Then he humped his biggest and best pumpkin into his gleaming wheelbarrow. With Bridget buzzing at his side, they proudly wheeled it down to the village green and placed it on the judging table alongside pumpkins of all different colors, shapes, and sizes. Then something unusual happened. In the distance, there was a strange beeping sound. People stopped talking. Pig stopped oinking. Even Bridget stopped buzzing as everyone turned to see what was coming up the path. Whatever it was, it was big. It cast a long shadow in the morning light, cutting a swathe through the curious crowd. A forklift was approaching, and up on the forks was a huge shape wrapped in a big black blanket. And who should be at the wheel of the forklift? But Lydia Curdle, dressed in her finest glad rags. She trundled the forklift up to the judging table. Hmm, not much room here, said Lydia as she lowered down the forks. The table collapsed. Whoops, ha <laughs> ha, laughed Lydia, leaping off the forklift. Then, with one swish of her hand, she flicked the front of the blanket away to reveal the biggest pumpkin Vince had ever seen. It was even bigger than his potting shed. The crowd gasped in amazement, and Vince's heart sank. There was no way his pumpkin could ever compete with that. Everyone gathered around the front of the giant pumpkin, ooing and aahing. Lydia held out her hand to the judge. You may as well save time and just give me first prize now. The judge tried to look around the back, but Lydia blocked his way. No. But because Bridget was so small, she buzzed her way past the people and made a bee line, or rather a bumblebee line, underneath the big black blanket still covering the rear of the pumpkin. Around the front, the judge made his decision and awarded first prize to Lydia's giant pumpkin. Vince got the blue ribbon for second place, and the judge moved on to the rhubarb section. Lydia looked at Vince. Oh dear, lost again, did you? Don't worry, Vincent, there's always next year. And then she added with a smirk, though I really don't know why you bother. Vince had to admit, Lydia's pumpkin deserved to win, but she wasn't being a gracious winner. He put on his bravest face, and was just about to congratulate her when Bridget began buzzing around his head again. Vince followed Bridget around the back of the pumpkin when suddenly the blanket moved all on its own. Vince jumped back in surprise. Then slowly, he bent down for a closer look. As quick as a shot, Lydia lunged towards the blanket. Stop! she shrieked in a voice loud enough to wake a sleeping giant. It's that bothersome bumblebee again! Leave the blanket alone! Everyone at the village green turned around to see what all the commotion was about, just as Vince cautiously pulled back the big black blanket. 